Hi guys, in this video I'll break down my process of making polygon hair that somewhat looks alike with particle hair. I use this technique mostly when I need to add hair that needs to be rigged and animated. This is not a beginner level tutorial but more of a process breakdown. I'm gonna start by adding a bezier curve and shaping it to a hair strand. And subdivisions are required. Increase the depth in bevel and alt S scale on curve segments to shape them accordingly. I'm adding another curve circle and shape it to use as the bevel control for the strand I made. Duplicate and mirror that strand and take it to the other side of the head. I'm adding another curve around the crown of the head that will act as a path to a braid. And to make the braid, I'm merging all vertices of a plane with snap to grid enabled. On top weave extrude a vertex, 3 up and 1 right. Another one, 3 up and the last 3 up, 1 left. On side weave move the second vertex, 1 down, third vertex, 1 up from the middle. Again from top weave, mirror everything on X, Y and Z axis and remove doubles. Again in edit mode, duplicate the whole thing and move 6 units up on the grid and another copy. Apply an array modifier to seamlessly continue the braid. Apply and remove doubles. And then turn the mesh into a curve and increase the depth in bevel. I'm adding a subdivision surface modifier. I scale down on Y axis because the braid looked too loose. I'm making a copy and applying the curve modifier by selecting the curve around the head. Scale it down appropriately and adjust the curve to look like a braid. Scaling you apply to the curve now will be applied to the braid. Then I apply the curve modifier to the braid and delete the ends. Repeat the same process with the braid on the back of the head. Scale up or down where needed and cut off the extra bits. Then copy to the other side. Position and adjust them accordingly. In this case, I prefer the subtle asymmetry. And once that is done, it's time to add the rest of the hair. Starting with the top of the head, using the same steps as before with the fringes on front, I'm adding hair strands throughout the rest of the head. I added a curve, applied the bevel control and scaled down on the ends. And once in edit mode, all the curves you copy will automatically have the bevel control shape applied to it. I made more strands and covered the exposed headspace. Then I did the same with the back of the head where the hair parts to the side braids. And I made some adjustments to the braid around the head to fit the hairstyle better.
then went back to adding the hair strands again. I try to keep the strands in a pattern closer to the start of the braid so it doesn't look too disconnected. Copied the same to the other side and edited to fit the space better. And layer the hair on the nape following the same pattern. Then I did some fine tuning such as making sure the layering is proper and overlapping is controlled and covered up all the bald spots. And then it's time to detail the strands. You can do this by adding details to the bevel control curve. All shape changes you make to the control curve will be applied to the hair strands. You can add loose hairs or small strands by adding more curved circles to the shape control circle. And I'm doing this with strands in the back of the head and the fringes in the front. The more detailed the strand is, more realistic the material will look on them. And I'm doing the same with the back braids. Fix up any bald spots and do the same with the braid around the head. I'll hide the control shapes for now. And it's time to add a material. I applied a different material for the braid around the head and another for the rest of the hair. And so for the material, I'm using a noise texture with UV as texture coordinate. I'm mapping it with a scale of 6 on Y axis and 1 on the other two axes.
then I'm connecting the factor value of the noise to the height value of the bump map. With the strength set to 0.625, I'm connecting it to the normal in the principal shed. And then I'm applying a color ramp to control the colors of the hair with the color output of the noise texture. This controls the shades and highlights of the hair color. and I increase the metallic value to 0.6, the specular down to 0.2, roughness to 0.46, and anisotropic to 1 in the principal shader. And I decided to add a little subsurface scattering with a lighter color. And then I'm adding a gradient texture to control the root colors of the hair strands. and it'll be controlled by a color ramp. With the use of a mix node, I'm combining the hair color with a darker color using the gradient as a factor. And then to add an overall anisotropy, I'm adding the anisotropic BSDF shader and mix it with the principal shader using a mix shader node. With the UV as the tangent and the bump map as the normal, I'm assigning the same color input as the principal shader. And then for the braid, I'm copy pasting the same node setup and removing the gradient node and the mix node and connecting the color node directly to the anisotropic shader and the principal shader. A few more fixing ups and then that's it. Riggable polygon hair that can be blended with the particle hair systems. Thanks for watching.